so for today, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about probability and its application in real life, specifically experimental and theoretical. So, essential question, the thing that you have to think about is how do we apply experimental and theoretical probabilities in real life situations? And for us to do that, we're going to do a different approach. Uh-huh. Last chance. Yes. 
So what makes you decide to stay with number three? Is it because of your emotion or what makes you decide? I like the number three. So what you're trying to say is you're deciding based on emotion. Uh -huh. Is it possible that we decide based on mathematical thinking? No. No? no? Never. Why not? <laughs> Jennifer. Because it's number two. And what is the relevant of number two? My favorite number two. Oh, that's Ooh. your favorite number? Yeah. Two is lucky. Two is lucky. So that has connection yeah. with deciding mathematical thinking. Yeah. No. So you're <laughs> actually deciding as well, ladies. You want to share something? You said two. I did? Two. Oh, that's a two. That's funny. All right, let's go back right here. Going back right here. So that's actually what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about or think I about it. where is the car? Where is, I yeah. will show you what the result of Lance door later after we do the experiment. Okay? But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to think about if, if it is in Lance's best interest to switch or to stick with the door that she picked. Okay? And we're going to do an experiment. But before that, I want Imagine to Imagine you are a game show. The game show host shows you three doors. Behind one of the doors is the star prize, a car. Behind the other two doors are booby prizes, two goats. I'll take the boobies. <laughs> That's out of line. <laughs> the game show host opens one of the other two doors. Now the host knows where the car is, and he always opens a door to reveal a goat. You are then asked whether you'd like to swap your chosen door for the one remaining closed door. The question is, should you swap? Should you stick with your original choice? Or does it make no difference what you do? Which would give you the greatest chance of winning the car? All right. So our next, our next activity will be, we're going to do an experiment to check which one will give us the best or the greater probability of winning the prize. And for us to do that,
No. Please do not play with the car, or else you're gonna have to take it, and you're gonna do a different activity. Yeah, you, get, you gotta know which cup it's under. I didn't get any cups. <laughs> you're working with Chris, um, okay? Jennifer, are you ready? Jennifer, wait for you. Travis and Lina. Thank you. Billy, you ready? I'm ready. All right. So the purpose of this activity is for us to understand this game right here. So I gave you three cups, and you're working with a, with um, another person. Okay. So you're working as a pair. Now, the three cups will represent your three doors. Travis, you're not ready. So the three cups will represent three doors. So you're working with a partner, Dina. I need you to put it down, please. Thank you. You're working with a partner. Now, one of you will be the game show host, and the other one will be the contestant. Okay? And you're going to play the game. Keep in mind that if you're the game show host, you know exactly where the card is. And if the contestant decides to switch door, you will only open the door that has a gold on it. I will give it to you later. Oh, okay? Because you were playing with it. I did it. I thought. All right, going back. Let's go back. Now, I want you to look at your activity paper. Um, Willie, could you read task one for me, please? Uh, yep. Find the experimental probability of winning when you, one, stick with the original color, or stick Second the original one. door. Okay, thank you. Therese, could you continue with A, please? Under task one. Under task one, first page. Task two. Okay. You, thank you. will play the Monte Paul game as an experiment to determine whether or not you win more often when you switch doors. Often. Let her say how she said it. You're doing a good job, Chris. Could you continue for me, please, with a question? What is your prediction, prediction? of the Outcome. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Good job. Going back right here. So before you play the game, I want you to answer that question. Whoever the contestant is, I want you to answer that question. Possible answers will be part of. What do you think will be the possible answer for this one? Um, what do you think is the most um, the strategy that will give you a greater chance of winning it? Is it switching or not switching? Okay, stick with it. And why would you stick with it? Is it because based on emotion or is it because of something that is mathematical? Yeah, when I feel strongly in my heart about something, I see. Okay, Lana, well, well, you're you raising your hand? When you take your test, okay. they tell you to stick with your first choice. Oh. Um, but in here, we're not actually taking a test. So we need to use so our mathematical test. thinking. We have to put our math head in here. So we're going to be mathematician in here in identify. Okay? So we're going to start with the game. And you will have five minutes to do the game. At the back of the page, could you just look at the back page for me, please? The back of the first page. I'm sorry. Back of the first page. <laughs> Back on the first page, thank you. Rachel, could you read these? <clears throat> Play the Monty Hall game. Record your results in the table below. Be sure to play tw 20 times. Yes, that is correct. Oh my God. Keep in mind that in math, the more you play it, the accurate your result is. Go ahead. I have played 20 much. times with switching doors and 20 times without switching doors. All right, thank you, Sudi. As you can see, you have the table right here. You could just do a tally mark. If you switch door, are you gonna win or are you gonna lose? So just put a tally right there, okay? You may start. 
um, you have to choose which one is going to be the game host and which one is going to be the contestant. Once again, let me remind you guys, if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, I have to take um, all the materials and give you another activity wherein you will be productive and you will learn. Any questions? You may sit with your partner now. Can I have my, can I have yes, of 